If you want to take your Squarespace website from basic to high-end and professional looking, today I'm going to teach you one of my favorite tips for getting that designer look, and that is layering. By the end of this video, your site will no longer look out of the box. It will look designer and professional. So how do you know if layering is important for your business? So a lot of my clients are service-based entrepreneurs. They're building a personal brand. And so a lot of them can benefit from adding some visual interest into their website. With so many people able to build their own websites these days, it is common to see just straight out of the box designs from places like Squarespace and Wix and WordPress. So when you've come across a website that stands out from all the other out of the box websites, you are already setting yourself up to be ahead of your competition. Now, what is it about layering that makes it look so high end and professional? When you start to do things that are out of the box, like layering, this feels more comfortable and our eyes really like to see something that has more depth to it. So you can add a depth of field through photography. And I talk about this in my high end Squarespace design video, but the other way is by layering. So layering objects, layering text. And today I'm going to show you how you can easily do that in Squarespace 7.1. Okay. Here are some examples of layering that I have done in websites just to show you what we're talking about. Some lines and text over items just really giving a look of layering as you can see here it really just grabs the interest a lot more than just a flat page okay so we're gonna go over to a new page okay we're on a brand new section here so we're gonna go add section we're gonna start with a blank section and if you see there are some other layouts that Squarespace provides with a little bit of layering to them. Like this one looks like it's layering two sections. Just want to real quick show you that there are some pre-done layouts that have a little bit of layering. So we're going to add a blank section and we're going to start with the block or the shape. So if you had, if you add a block, you're going to go down to the shape button. And if you hit the G on your keyboard, that's gonna show you your grid. So this is also a feature of 7.1 Fluid Engine, is now we can move anything around on this grid. You even have a center line to make things center. It just makes things really easy to align and move around, which is fantastic. You'll also notice that there's some space above and below the grid. That's a uh, default setting that Squarespace has just to give some breathing room from your content to the next section. So if you're not comfortable with laying out things, I do recommend having some space um, to make sure that things are breathing and we don't have everything so tightly together. But for this, we do want to go to the very edge of the section and I'll show you why in just a second. We're going to go to edit section. And right here you can see section, it says fill screen and we've got a height of small, medium or large. Right now we've got a medium setting for padding. Even if I go to small, there's still a little bit of padding in between here. So I wanna actually get rid of all of the padding. And even when I hit this, it goes down to one. I want it down to zero pixels. So we're really flush with the bottom of that section. So I'm gonna make this a little bit larger and I'm gonna pull my shape all the way to the edge of the screen. And sometimes it doesn't drag very well. There we go. Okay, so now my, my shape is flush with the bottom section. Now let's layer a image on top of it. So we're gonna add another block. We're gonna go to image. We're gonna layer this over the top. And as you can see, it automatically becomes the top layer. If I wanted this to go behind this layer, there's this little button at the top that has like a grayed out box and a solid box behind it. And it'll say move forward or move backward, whichever one it isn't. So you can move it forward or you can move it backwards on these two, two blocks next to each other, I should say, that you can move in front. So this image, we're gonna hit the edit icon. We're gonna add an image from our library real quick these are just unsplashed photos and then to fill the screen we're gonna hit design and hit fill and it will fill that block area all right let's add even more layers on top of this let's add some text 
we're gonna make this one really large. We're gonna make this the H1, and in fact, I want it even larger. So we're gonna use the stretch tool here, and it's gonna fill that box with my text. So however large I want it, it will get larger with my box, which is fabulous because sometimes our H1s are not big enough for what we want in the design, and sometimes we don't wanna use the H1s because you're only supposed to use those once per page. So that stretch tool is really helpful in getting some big headlines or small headlines without messing up your, your H1 and H2s. Okay, so now we have some text over photo, over shape. What if we would like a border around our photo? Now, if you click on the image and you try to edit and add a border to it, unfortunately, there is no, there's no way to add a border to a photo at this time. Um, that may change in the future. I know Squarespace is often updating things, so we may find that that comes in the future. So how to work around that is we're gonna add another shape because the shape does have a stroke that you can add to it, which is awesome. So you can add a solid or a dashed. You can change the color. You can change the thickness to small, medium, or large. You can even add a drop shadow if you'd rather have a drop shadow instead of a solid border. So how you make this work is you're just gonna align this to, to align right with your photo, and then we're gonna send it to the back. So now you can see there's a border around it, which also adds another layer to it, gives it like a frame look to it, which is super cool. If you would like a more floating border effect, you can give it a transparency. So how we're gonna do that, I'm gonna sh shorten this up here a little bit. And we're gonna click on that shape, go to the edit. Now in the styling section, this color, we're gonna click on this. You can be on any color, it doesn't matter. As long as you click one, it's gonna pull up this gradient. It's gonna go from solid to transparent. So we're gonna pull that that circle all the way to full transparency. So now it is completely transparent on the inside. And if say we want this to be a little bit thinner border, let's say small, and even if I wanted it, see right now it's at two pixels, I can even make it as thin as one pixel and it'll be even thinner. And then we have that like floating border effect. I can turn off the grid so you can see it here. Yeah, which gives it just another extra level of layering and you can make this bigger. You can even drag these together if you drag over both of them and pull both of them up together. That we don't have to grab one at a time. That just makes things a lot easier. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to get the effect of layering over a section as you can see from the footer here, and maybe I should exit so you can see the preview version. As you can see from the footer, we've got this line that overlaps the logo. This is supposed to be a logo. That really makes it look like it's overlapping a different section, when in fact, it is not overlapping a section, it's just overlapping a shape block. So how we do that, as you know, Squarespace is made up of different sections and this can be, we can just kind of make a new section here, a blank section. Now the trick is to color the background. We're gonna go to edit section. We're gonna go to colors. We're gonna pick the color that matches the section above it. Now you can use background for this whole section or you can do another shape again if you don't wanna fill the entire background with that color. But as, since we did that, and we can just like add another image over here, just to show this is another section, we'll add all our content. And if we hit save, so we can exit and hit preview, now it looks like this section is bleeding over into this section. When in reality, this is actually two different sections, but it makes it look like it's overlapping. So that's one of my favorite tips. I do, do try to do some level of layering in each of my websites. If you like what you see in this particular template, I'm actually creating this for you guys because so many people liked my 60 creative layout artboards that I sell on my website that I have one that uses 
Squarespace for all the creative art boards. So this is going to be four or five pages. I'm not quite done yet, but it's gonna be four or five pages of all of my creative layouts so that you can move them up and down, switch them around, save sections, delete sections, and really create your own layout, which tends to happen anyways as a designer, even if we purchase a template, at least for me, I always end up moving things around and switching things up. So this way it just gives you creative layouts that you can be creative with. You'll have a lot of layouts to choose from on top of Squarespace's built-in layouts that they already have. So really just gives you a lot to work with design-wise. And that makes it great so you can just focus on the branding, the fonts, the colors, and all the content that goes into it and makes designing websites so much faster. So now that you know how to do layering in Squarespace, I want you to go practice on your website and make those websites stand out. If you would like more Squarespace design tips, please see my other videos and make sure and leave a comment below with any tutorials that you would like. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye. Thank you.